Hey everybody, it is Tim Whittemore here with the Whittemore Group at EXP Realty. Uh, we are your local experts and your enthusiastic professionals. Today we're going to talk about either owning a home or renting a home and which one's best for you. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat that uh, it's going to be situational for you. Whatever's best for you is the best way that I'm going to tell you to go forward. However, there are some advantages and disadvantages to both, and being educated on both of those will help you get to the next decision moving forward. So I'm just going to jump right into some of the advantages of actually purchasing a home. Well, because we are resale agents here, of course, we're going to jump right into that. So some of the advantages that you do have is you may be able to build equity and your credit over time. Historically, the uh, U.S. housing market has been going up over time. Now, there have been some corrections, but still, it's still been going up. So if you're going to hold on to a house for at least two years or more, this is probably a better investment for you. Of course, talk to your local real estate agent to ensure that that's the market where we see it going. Uh, but Typically, if you're going to be there for at least that amount of time, you should gain enough equity to where you might be able to get some cash back. Now, building your credit, having a house definitely is going to build your credit. It's one of the big uh, focal points that you'll see if you read the forums online of what can help you build your credit. So owning a house, definitely going to help you out there. Uh, another great thing is you don't have a landlord. How awesome is that? You don't have to re you don't have to report to anybody. You don't have somebody checking up on you. What you want to do for that house is what you want to do. Nice is n the next nice thing is more stability. So you know where you're going to stay. You know what schools that the kids are going to be going to. You know how much that uh, that you're paying for principal and interest. The only things that may change will be perhaps your insurance and your taxes over time. However, there's not much that we could do about taxes, but yes, you can uh, you can pick different insurance providers over the time. So you are in control of that and you have this ability and you don't have to worry about, about the landlord trying to sell his house and having to kick, kick that out. And then you're going to have to find a whole different thing and it's, it could be a mess. So that's one nice thing. You might have some good uh, tax benefits for that, depending on the state and the condition that... Uh, the market is in, definitely talk to your tax professional, CPA or whomever, uh, to see what you can do for that. And one of the last advantages, at least in my short list of advantages here for purchasing a home, is you can improve and upgrade to whatever taste you want. So if you want to take that half bath downstairs and turn it into a full bath, you totally can. Uh, if you want to go through and paint it different colors, you know, you want to have a fireman's pole in the, <laughs> in the middle of the living room, you can do whatever you want. It's up to you. Uh, so that's one thing. I bet a landlord probably wouldn't want that. Uh, so you can do whatever you want with your home. <laughs> Some disadvantages, of course, is that for a conventional loan or maybe an FHA loan, uh, it's going to require a substantial amount of money for a down payment. Now, if you are a veteran, a military veteran, uh, you can have a VA loan. Certain places have rural housing where you don't have to put any money down. Of course, you can talk to your lending professional or your real estate professional to see which ones apply, but know that that could be something. And yes, there's a lot of paperwork and there's a lot of rigmarole that you'll have to go through. Rigmarole, that's a good word, um, to end up get purchasing a house. However, just talk to your real estate professional. They'll be able to walk you through everything prior to getting in and giving you a really good idea of what to anticipate. Or you can watch more of my videos and they'll tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> uh, other uh possible disadvantages is if the market does decline that you could possibly lose some equity in that home and then either have to rent it out when you leave or uh, may have to bring some money to closing. Now this is usually over the short term and that's a risk that you run into with really purchasing anything that you plan on selling later. Uh, but that is a possibility that, that you'll have to uh, consider when purchasing a home. Uh, there are extra expenses beyond mortgage payments. Uh, your normal stuff that you're going to pay anyway, which is your, you know, your trash, gas, those sort of things. Know that uh, regular upkeep for the house is going to be on you. 
so if the AC goes out, you're going to have to pay for that. If you don't have a home warranty, that's something that's going to come straight out of pocket. So make sure that you have cash reserves for those sort of things. A roof is leaking, you know, things of that nature. And if you have rising home prices and low inventory like we've had in the, over the past three years since this video, uh, you'll know that it's going to be tough to find a home. However, there are different ways that you can go through and different advantages to get the stuff that you're looking for. And uh, of course, talk to your real estate professional. We'll be able to get you uh, through the market to get the best price and the best house uh, for your money. And of course, the other disadvantages too is if you, if Nothing, of course, is going to be perfect when you move in. Just know that you'll be responsible for the remodeling and, of course, the repairs, as mentioned before. So let's talk about renting. Renting can be a great opportunity for you. If you have a job that you could just move at any point, if you're going to be in a place for a year or less, uh, this is usually some some good uh, indications that you should probably rent for a while. If you're moving into an area and you don't know if you're going to be staying there for that long, again, this might be a great I idea to get in there, rent for a little while, figure out what's going on. If you can rent for six months or less or something of that nature, fantastic. Get in there, get a feel for it, and then move on to purchasing a home once you know that you're going to be there for a while. So let's go over some of the advantages. First things first is you're going to have fewer upfront cost and paperwork, which uh, is is good. You know, uh, you won't have to worry about so much of a down payment. You will have security deposits, uh, the first month's rent, those sort of things. And it's usually just going through the lease and some background checks and credit checks. Uh, your next one is you, as I mentioned before, the freedom to move and be mobile. So if something does come up, uh, you can be able to bounce out of that. Usually if the landlord's good with it, you can get out of that lease a little bit early if you needed to, or minimal costs versus having to sell a home, right? Uh, you're not gonna be responsible for maintenance and repairs, as I said earlier, uh, that's the landlord's job. There's usually an indication in your lease to say, hey, if it's under whatever amount, we'll say $100, that uh, the landlord will be responsible for going ahead and fixing those items. You don't have to worry about falling home values because you don't own the home. That's gonna be a seller's issue. So the only thing that you're gonna have to worry about is the rent moving up or down. Know that the market for rentals continually seems to go up. So most of the time uh, when you go to renew the lease, they may, just go ahead and tack another $25, $50 on there that you're going to be paying an extra month. And they have every right to do that. However, you're not subject to the housing market. Uh, and you can build credit. Now, if you're going to, if you're not just going from owner to um, owner to renter and you're going through rental management company, most of those do report those uh, rental payments uh, to the different credit bureaus, which can help build your credit over time, which is nice. Some of the disadvantages, if uh, some of these I've already mentioned before, but the landlord can raise rent and they can sell the property. It's usually in there. So if during your lease they go, hey, I'm about to sell this, you need, you have about two months and you got to get the heck out of here. Uh, you got to get up and go and go find a new rental. Now, if the rental market is as hot as the housing market is, like it is uh, here in the state of Florida, uh, that could be a big issue that you got to get up, move the family got to worry about schools and all these other different things for the kids, uh, that can that can really be uh, hard. <laughs> uh, also know that uh, choices can be limiting depending on your vacancies. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, the vacancy rates here are uh, very, very low. So it, anything that's out there that's, that's good enough that you want to rent, it moves real quickly. So you got to stay on top of that and it's tough to find a rental. Uh, you might have to move multiple times because somebody's selling their house, uh, the rent went up and you can't afford it anymore. A slew of different uh, things could happen why you can't rent anymore. And well, there you go. <laughs> also, you don't build equity when you're renting. You're just paying for somebody else's equity and you don't have any tax benefits. Granted, you got a place to stay, but you're not building anything extra beyond that. So those are your, uh, those are your advantages and disadvantages in uh, purchasing a home or renting. Now you can say that uh, based on your situation, one might be advantageous versus the other. 
But if you have any other questions, make sure to uh, reach out to my team or your real estate professional or uh, your rental management company to uh, see what uh, what they have to say, what, are, what could be the best situation for you. All right. I hope this was useful. Uh, if you do know anybody else that could use this information, please do share that with them. Uh, if you have seen this on social, make sure to like and share that, of course. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.